up you guys so today i'm going to be showing you how to do this rgb glitch in premiere pro okay so i have my two clips right here and the very first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to search up rgb color balance in the effects panel and add that to my first clip and then i'm going to change the blending mode to screen and then we're going to hold alt and then just drag the clip up twice so that we have three clips and now with our very top clip we're gonna refresh this and we're gonna change green to zero and blue to zero and for our second clip we're gonna refresh this again and change red to zero and blue to zero and for our last clip we're gonna refresh and press zero zero and keep blue at a hundred okay so now what we can do is we can kind of offset these clips by changing the scale and position so I'm just gonna show you an example. You can go to any of your clips, but I'm gonna show you how to get this like greenish purplish uh, glitch to it. So I'm just gonna go to the second clip where we had green on it, and I'm just gonna show you. So if I scale this up, you can see that that greenish purplish tint coming on, but I'm gonna edit undo in. I'm just gonna press a keyframe for scale and position, and then we're gonna create that glitch. So I'm gonna go uh like two frames forward, and then just randomly scale it up, and like adjust the position so just randomly create keyframes for positions and just make it go all over the place crazy like so yeah that's what I'm doing right here every like two frames I'm kind of just moving the position and scale and then at the very end of the clip you want to just press that refresh bar for the, both the scale and position so that it goes back to normal so now you can see that it has this like quick little glitch at the end and you can adjust how fast the keyframes go and just bring the keyframes close, closer together if you want. And I'm also just going to drag these to the end of the clip so that this glitch happens at the very end. Okay, so once you're happy with all your keyframes and how they look, we're just going to select the motion, the opacity, and the color balance and select all of them and just right click and press save preset so that we can save all of this as a new preset and I'm just gonna name this green glitch one because this is on the green channel and yeah so this is gonna save to our presets in our effects panel okay so if you want you can also add scale and position keyframes to your other channels like the red clip and the blue clip um, so I'm just gonna add it onto the red clip so I'm just going to add a small little keyframe. So I'm just going to press the keyframe button for scale somewhere around here. And then go a couple frames forward and just scale it up so you can see that bluish tint. Okay, yeah. So I'm really liking this effect and how this looks. So I'm just going to select the motion, opacity, and color balance again. And right click and save preset. And save it as red glitch 1. And then I'm going to go to my blue clip, and I don't think I want to make any changes to this. You can if you want, but I kind of like how the glitch looks already. So I'm just going to select the motion, opacity, and the color balance again, and right click and press save preset. So now I'm going to rename this to blue glitch one, and now we have three presets for our three channels. Okay, now I'm going to go to my second clip, and I'm just going to press alt to make three copies of this. So I'll press Alt and drag the clip up twice. Now let's go to Effects and we're going to search up the blue glitch one that we just made. And we're going to add it to our bottom clip. And then we're going to search up the green glitch one and we're going to put it on our second clip. And then we're also going to search up red glitch one and we're going to put it on our top clip. So now we have the effects on all three clips. Okay, so if we try to watch the clip back, we can see that the glitch happens sort of at the end of the clip. Because in our first clip, we kind of made that glitch happen at the end of the clip. So on this one, it also is happening towards the end of the clip. But we want to make it happen in the beginning of the clip so that it kind of looks like a glitch transition. So we're just going to go to our second clip where we have most of our keyframes. And I'm just going to select all of this by dragging them all and then dragging it to the beginning of the clip. So I'm just going to drag all my keyframes. And if we watch it back, we have that sort of glitch in the beginning. And you can just drag it forward to make it look a little bit faster. So now it looks like a transition. But now also towards the end of our clip, we still have that blue and red channel. So we're just going to bring that keyframe in the beginning of the clip. And it was on our top clip. So now all of our glitches are in the beginning, but our blue and red still stays there. So we're just going to go a little bit after our last keyframe and press the refresh button so it goes back to normal. 
Okay, so we're basically done with the glitch transition, but like I said, you can also add glitches in random like places in between your clips to make it look really cool. So I'm just going to go somewhere in the middle of my last clip, and I'm just going to press the scale keyframe button again. And also I'm going to press the keyframe button for position. And I'm just going to go a little bit forward and scale it up a bit. And just adjust the position randomly as well. Just like how we did in the beginning, but this is going to be in the middle of the clip. And then once you want it to be over, you could just press the refresh button and then it goes back to normal. So yeah, now it has this little glitch in the middle of our clip as well. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how you can add a little bit of some special glitch effects. And yeah, so you can also add some glitch sound effects that will make it look really nice. And yeah, you can really customize this stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.